So bow your head. Let's get to honor God with this, right? So, Father God, we come before you this gorgeous day, Lord. We will not be fearful or dismay, Lord. We will be strong and courageous. We thank you, Lord, that you know what's going on, that you're exposing what's going on. Lord, we hunger and thirst for righteousness, your righteousness, for this nation and the state to be turned to be one nation under God, for the people and our families and the kids and generations to come to be set free from this tyranny, from the socialist push of the left, Lord. We know this is demonic. This is anti-God. Restore your will on this earth today in the name of Jesus. Amen. Father, we glorify your name. We thank you for this, uh, President Trump. We thank you for four more years. We thank you for cleaning up our election system. We thank you, Lord, you're restoring integrity across our system, across this nation, exposing the wicked for what it is, rooting it out, Lord, and, and restoring your will in the name of Jesus. And everybody said, Amen. Amen. It's not so much to ask to make sure that every legitimate vote is counted. All right. And if things don't go the way we want them to go, the difference between us and other people is that we don't riot. We don't attack police cars. We don't demonize our police officers. I'm up by 200 votes a week after the election, and yet a, a, week, a couple weeks later, I lose by 100 votes. It happens in this state because we haven't called them on it. We haven't held them accountable. We've got a president who knew about this, is holding people accountable, going to the courts, the fact that we have Amy Coney Barrett at the Supreme Court. We have to keep engaged. We will win this nation back and this state back if we work together. But we have to support this president, not only to clean up our election process in Washington, but every state across this nation once again. The fact that the will of the people is, is, is heard and obeyed, right? Come on. Amen. And in this state, for sure, we are much more red and more conservative than we know, and we have been for years. Is revealed in the ballot box and in election office, right? Yeah. All right? So join with me, a great speaker today. I'm glad and thankful for you coming out, for staying engaged. But this is a battle. That was just a battle. This is This is a war. We must win. It's a spiritual, political, cultural war for the future of this nation, and we're in this together, right? Yeah. Amen. God bless America. Bless America.
Baba.